Hey y'all, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. I have found a fun recipe that I wanna try and I wanted to share it with you all because um, I may be using it. Well, I know I'll be using it tomorrow. Um, and if you're watching later, that means nothing to you. But anyway, I want you to know um, how I did it. So I found this on the Graphics Ferry and I'm going to use these three containers. Now, I can't imagine how I ended up with three of these in cold brew coffee, but that's neither here nor there. So, okay, let me show you. It's supposed to be a really messy concoction, but we're gonna have some fun. So first of all, I didn't get out my first ingredient, so very prepared. You all I have got some, I'm trying this, fine sand that I just got at the Dollar Tree. So let me open this up. And we are going to put in two tablespoons of fine sand into each container to start with. Little measuring spoons. Hope this is fine enough. I don't know if it is, but we're gonna find out. This is an experiment. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So we've got our three containers. Oh, I forgot. Mm, okay. Okay, next we're gonna add one tablespoon of joint compound, which I've got over here in a little Tupperware container because my husband buys it by the, I don't know, jugs. <laughs> so I keep a little container in here in my studio. There's one. This is messy. Two, and three. Next, you're gonna need Aline's tacky glue. So, you know this is gonna be messy. Let me put the lid back on that. And we've got our tacky glue right there. Wait, that's too close. Where are you? There you are. Let me open this up. And we're gonna do a tablespoon of Aline's in each one of these as well. If it'll come out. like to waste anything. Okay. Come on. It's being tacky. <laughs> Don't you love fun, messy projects? I do. Let's get the third one. All right. Now we're going to mix up this goopy, goopy mess until it's all combined. And I won't make you sit through that. Okay, so here's what we have all mixed up. Goopy mixture. Let's start with the first one right here. 
And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have get half, add, sorry, half a tablespoon of brown acrylic craft paint. I'll show you what I'm using here. Let me just get it open. This is from Target. It's just the Mondo Llama acrylic paint and roasted espresso. So let me get half of a tablespoon right here. And then a scant fourth. This is. These are so not marked well. Okay, so I think this eh, we're going with this one. Uh, black acrylic paint. And this one about that much. And add it in here. We're gonna start stirring. Yeah, you know what? Mm. This is what we do, right? Use the tools God gave us. <laughs> oh, I'm so messy. Wipe that off a little bit. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, my well, Sarge says hi. We're gonna stir this up. Oh, he's gonna sound like a Wookiee. Okay, and I'm looking at it now. Oh, that's pretty good. But I think it's heavy on the black. I think I want to put a little bit more brown in it. Because, you know, this is what I want to do. Because we're making a DIY. Well, we're making three DIY rust paste. If I want to put a little more brown, I don't think so. I think that's going to be okay. We're going to go for it. We're going to try that. Okay. Now, I have to go wash all of this off before we can do the other two. So, we don't want these colors to get into the other two since we're mixing pastes. Okay, now we've got the lid on our brown rust paste mixture. Next up is going to be a tablespoon of orange acrylic paint. This is what I'm using. Oh, how about that? Oh, y'all. Leave it to me to make an even bigger mess. Now, I don't think that was a full tablespoon, so act right, paint. Come on now. Go in with that. I'm gonna pull that string out. I hate those. I'll clean up the side in a minute. Oh, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Goodness, let me wipe this off. Okay, and then we're going to add two drops of um, brown, and I'm going to use dark chocolate this time. Two drops, huh? One, two. I don't know if that other one dripped. I'm really good at this. I'm a professional, right? And the next paint is going to be 
a red acrylic paint. So I've got red. And it's just two drops. Let's see if I can do this right. One. Okay, we're going to call that two drops. <laughs> and let's see what color this is going to look like. I want it just terribly orange to it. That is really orange. drop of black. I got you. Okay. Let's do our drop of black. Just one, Lindy. Just one drop. Anytime. Oh, that's a drop. Okay. That's more like it. Look at that color. feeling a little more rust. All right, clean up again before we do our last and final one. Last and final? Nope, should be third and final. And I wasn't quite done. We are going to warm the color up with just a little yellow. Four drops. Come on. Okay, let's call that four drops. Shall we? what that does. Oh, I like that. Okay. And we put the lid on this one. And, well, I don't want to waste. Now we can go on to the third and final jar. For the last one, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of yellow. And you can adjust any of these colors to your liking. Make, you know, change them up a little bit, add a little, whatever you like to make it look the, the way you want it to look. This is just the recipe that was given by uh, on the Graphics Fairy site. I'm going to do this one more time. Ooh, hope y'all don't mind getting messy. And two drops of orange. Let's try this orange again. It was ugly to me last time. One, two. Let's see how this looks. Now you're going to be ready. Once you've got these three, you're going to be ready to do several of my upcoming DIY crafts that I've got planned for you. This will be used for at least two or three. We're going to see how it works 
and I'm trying it out for you before you do all of this to see how we like it. If they're successful, you can make up your own and it gives you a good excuse to eat some of this amazing sorbetto because it is awesome. <laughs> all right, y'all, thanks. It's Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin and I will see you soon. Bye.